Good morning, dear students. Welcome to Gangotri EVS online class. Nowadays, in this COVID-19 crisis, we have tried to continue our class through virtual learning. Okay. In today's class, we have subject English grammar, topic question tag or tag question. This is grammar lesson part one. Here, question tag. Question tag. Uh, in the starting, we need to describe what question tag is. The definition of question tag here, uh, I have mentioned, it is an expression used in a sentence. That means in our daily speeches, mainly asked for agreement or confirmation. Question tag is used for agreement or confirmation. As we know, it is not a separate sentence, but a part of the same sentence. Question tag is not a separate sentence, but it's a part of the same sentence. Or we can say it's like a tail. Here, while making question tag, we need to keep some basic rules for forming question tag. Whenever you write question tag, you need to keep in, the, uh, in mind some basic rules. I have enlisted some basic rules. First, use a comma, use a comma after the sentence. After the sentence, that means the statement that we are going to make a question tag. Here, comma after the sentence and a question mark. You need to place a question mark at the end of the tag that you have made. This means after the sentence, you have to place you have to put a comma and when you write question tag at the end there must be a question mark the first very much important rule you shouldn't miss second begin with a small letter a small letter yeah begin with a small letter in question tag begin with a small letter we should always write question tag with a small letter. Mainly we uh, write verb, then pronoun in question tag. So the verb we write must be in a small letter. Next rule. Always use contracted form of verb and a pronoun to write a question tag. This means we have to use contracted form of verb. That means contraction form of verb. And just after the contraction form of verb, there must be a pronoun. You cannot write a noun in question tag. No. A pronoun to write a question tag. Keep in mind this soon as well. Here, I have enlisted some Contracted form or contraction form of words is plus not isn't isn't you can't write is not is not or is not separate no isn't next m plus not a r e young apostrophe t aren't you can't write M 
an, an apostolate or amount. No. If you write like that, it becomes wrong. Your question tag is wrong. Another. R plus not. Around. Likewise, sal plus not. Sand. Yes, a. Yan apostolate. You can't write. Yes, a. Yan yan. Yan apostolate. Likewise, will plus not. Want. Don't write will not. Has plus not. Hasn't. Have plus not. Haven't. Can plus not. Can't. You can't write C A Yan Yan apostrophe double N. No. Not like that. Etc. And in other auxiliaries, dear students, you know there are 24 auxiliaries. And in all other auxiliaries, you have to write Yan apostrophe T if you are going to make contracted form of verb. Yeah. Next rule. A positive statement has a negative tag. A positive statement or an affirmative sentence is written. A negative tag for that. For the sentence, you have to write a negative tag for an affirmative statement or sentence. Likewise, and a negative statement has a positive tag. That means if the sentence is negative, then you must write a positive tag for the sentence. Some examples I have mentioned here. Birds can fly. Look at the sentence. Birds can fly. The sentence is what? Affirmative. Yeah? Positive statement. So, obviously, as the rule says, we have to write a negative tag for the sentence. Can't they? You might be surprised. So, words as subject and you have written they. How? We have already discussed in this line a pronoun to write a question tag. That means you can't write the noun mentioned in the statement as uh, the, sub, uh, the subject of tag. You have to write pronoun. You have to use pronoun for each and every noun. Either the noun can be singular or plural. Boss, yeah, plural subject. So, boss, for boss, we use they. Can, affirmative. So, we have already discussed there. Can, can't. And bus, they. Likewise, another example. These are apples. These are apples. Yeah. Are, aren't. These, these, these denote pillar nouns. So, these, for this, we have to use they. Are, aren't. This, they. You can't write around this. No. This is wrong. A girl will come here. A girl will come here. Will. Will. What is the contraction form of will? Want. A girl. For a girl, girl denotes female gender. So we have to use C for. A single girl, one girl. Yeah. He out to read this book. He out to read this book. Out to is also an auxiliary. So out for out. What is the contraction form of out? I have mentioned here. In all other auxiliaries, follow this process. Auxiliary. Plus and apostrophe. Yeah. So out, out and, and he. Small x e he. In let's take another example. That isn't mine. That 
that is not mine. Sentence is negative. So, negative sentence has a positive tag. We have discussed. Isn't is for that it. This and that. If this and that comes in a sentence, then write it instead of these and that. Okay, keep in mind. These and that. If there is uh, in the sentence, there is these or that. Replace this or that with it. Write it for these and that. Likewise, if the sentence has these or those, then write they. They. I have written these here for those as well. You have to write they pronoun. Next example: A boy is weeping. Affirmative statement: A boy is weeping. The answer is is isn't a boy for a boy. Male gender, so he isn't he. Yeah, you make progress. Make, make. You might be wondered how to make the that question of you make progress, sir. There is no any actually. Then how can we make question tag of the sentence? If you don't know. Let me tell you, make, make is B1. So, for B1, we have to use do auxiliary. We have to use do auxiliary for Bhagwan or the best form. Yeah, you make progress. Make is B1, so don't do and we have to make negative. Don't B1. So, don't and subject is uh, a pronoun you so you can place you don't you next example he used to smoke a lot he used to smoke a lot used to used to is also an auxiliary form of a auxiliary verb so used used you can write didn't for used usant is also uh, in practice but uh, if you write didn't this becomes very nice so didn't and he okay let's see another slide i have written here some examples that Helps you to be clear. Yeah, Rita is singing a song. Now you can guess uh, without watching. Rita is singing a song. Is isn't and Rita is a girl, so we can use C pronoun. Harilal will come to the party. Harilal will come to the party. Will actually here. So, uh, contraction form of will is want and Harilal uh, is a male gender. So, he want he and lastly, question mark. Deepak has not done his homework. Has not. Sentence is negative. So, for negative. Sentence we have to write what positive tag. Yeah, has and for the book, he has he. I am a doctor. I am a doctor. M contraction form we have already discussed. M contraction form of M is aren't I written. The same I. You can't write uh, the pronoun I in a small letter. This is always 
capital one. Sentence without auxiliaries. Sentence without auxiliaries. That means bare auxiliaries. A sentence having no auxiliary in it. If the sentence does not have an auxiliary auxiliary verb, then we have to use auxiliary according to the form of verb. Form of verb. What this form of verb means? Form of verb means if we want to be five, we want B two, B three, B four, and B five. If the statement has B one or Bhagwan form, then you have to use do auxiliary. If B two, then did auxiliary. If B five, then does auxiliary. I have. Mention some examples to clarify this rule. Divya sings a song. Divya sings a song. Sings. Sings. Which form of verb? Be five. Yeah. Sings a song. Sings. For sings be five. We have here does. So does the sentence is affirmative. So negative tag does becomes doesn't and divya is a girl. So we use she pronoun. Next, Gopal found a post study. Gopal found a post study. Found. B two. So for B two. Which auxiliary did 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 you did is used so didn't and Gopal mean so didn't he they play cricket they play cricket play B one for B one we use do then it becomes don't as the sentence is affirmative don't they okay next rule a forming tag okay here yeah. second rule if the subject of the statement is anybody somebody everybody anyone someone everyone none no one then their pronoun should be used instead of the word instead of the word means in place of these words these words that come in the sentence if the sentence if the statement has these words you should use the pronoun for these words and then singular auxiliary verb used in the above subjects above subjects means these subjects these subjects take always take singular auxiliary form of verb singular auxiliary collocates with these words so you have to Change singular auxiliary verb into plural auxiliary. Then only form tag position. Yeah. Uh, let's see the example. Someone has stolen my purse. Someone has stolen my purse. Has singular auxiliary. Someone. Someone. Someone has stolen my purse. Has is changed into. Plural auxiliary. Plural auxiliary for has is have. Sentence is affirmative, so negative tag. Haven't and someone. This subject is replaced with they. Yeah. Be careful. Someone. One or body type of word you can uh, remember like this. One or body. 
Five or four, uh, which has one or body at the end of the word. To those words, you have to use they pronoun and singular auxiliary should be converted, should be changed into plural auxiliary. Then they should be used to make that question. Someone has stolen my purse, has it changed into haven't, have, and a statement is affirmative, so negative tag, haven't, and they is used. Let's take another example. Nobody is there. Nobody is there. Sentence, see, uh, look at the sentence. Nobody. This word makes the sentence negative. Nobody is there. Do here no any not or other type of word, but this subject nobody makes the whole sentence negative. So is it change into plural auxiliary? Yeah? Plural auxiliary is it change into plural one? That means ah. Nobody uh, makes the sentence negative. So negative statement has a positive tag R and nobody is replaced with what? They. Yeah. R they. Another rule. If the statement has the following structure, then do, does, and did is used. If the sentence or the statement has subject plus has to plus v1, subject plus have to plus v1, subject plus have to plus v1, then if the sentence has has to, you have to use does auxiliary to form question tag. If the sentence has have, then do auxiliary. And if the sentence has had auxiliary, had, had to, or had, then you have to write did. There must be two just after the word has, have, and had, and after two. Uh, Always be one, two after be one from here. Subject plus has to, have to, and have to. Uh, let's look at the example. Ram has to play, has to play, has to, who has, does. So we have to use doesn't. Does, then negative form of tag as the sentence is affirmative. Doesn't, and for Ram, what? He. We have to win the match. Have. Then, for have, what we do? We write do. So, to make negative of the statement, uh, the statement is positive, so we have to write negative tag for this. Do, don't, we, uh, we pronoun, so we. Don't, we. He had to join us. Had to. For this, we use what? Have to. Did. Didn't. And for uh, he pronoun, so the same. Didn't he. If the subject is. If the subject is. In the statement, if the subject is something, anything, nothing, everything. Then. It. Is used as pronoun in the tag. This means if the statement has something, anything, nothing, everything, this type of word as subject, then you have to use it as the subject of tag question. Yeah. Something is wrong. Something is wrong. Is Sentence is affirmative, so isn't, and this subject, something, what we have discussed, it is used in place of those words, so isn't it. Next, nothing was stolen from here, nothing was stolen from here, nothing makes the sentence, the statement negative, so affirmative tag, yes, was was and for nothing what we use it so was it okay next rule 
If the statement having the following structure, if the statement, if the statement having the following structure, make a in this way. Yeah. If the statement has subject apostrophe d better, subject apostrophe d better, subject apostrophe d rather. Okay. If the statement, the sentence has subject apostrophe d. And then the done after better, then you have to keep in mind apostrophe D means have for better. If this statement has subject apostrophe D, rather, if the statement, the sentence has this kind of a structure subject, then after just after the apostrophe D and rather, you have to think. Would rather would would actually for apostrophe d in case of rather if there is rather then you have to keep in mind that apostrophe d means would for better apostrophe d means had let's see the example you apostrophe d better to leave the place when we read we don't uh, Read like this, you apostrophe d, no? You had better to leave the place. But in written form, if written you apostrophe d better, then you need to keep in mind that apostrophe d means had for better. You had better to leave the place. So tag becomes for had, had on, and you pronoun the same you, had on to you. Second, apostrophe D, rather. Apostrophe D, rather, would rather. Example, he, apostrophe D, rather go by bus. He would, would rather go by bus. Yeah. Would rather, would rather. Would not he. You can recall it as had better, would rather. Had better, would rather. In this way. Subject, apostrophe D, plus Verb 1. If the statement, the sentence has this structure, subject, apostrophe D, V1, verb 1, then you need to think that that apostrophe D is would. Would plus V1. We know modal auxiliaries always take verb 1 form. Example, they, apostrophe D, finish the work on time. They, would finish the work on time. The tag for the sentence is would, wouldn't, and pronoun they, so they, wouldn't, they. Subject apostrophe D was Bob 3. If the sentence has this structure, subject apostrophe D, Bob 3, then you need to keep in mind that apostrophe D means had. Had plus B3. Example, they had finished the work. They had finished the work. Had. Had plus B3. So, had. Had on and they. Had on they. Next rule. Regardless of being affirmative or negative, this means though the sentence or the statement that we are going to make question that is negative or affirmative that does not matter all imperative sentences in case of imperative sentences only okay all imperative sentences takes will you yeah will you imperative sentences sentence all imperative sentences takes will you as the tag how easy it is very easy to make question tag of imperative sentences we just have to write will you at the end of the sentence and question mark but but keep in mind one thing if the sentence the imperative sentence has let's l e t apostrophe s this kind of structure let's in it Let's take what? Not will you, but shall we? Shall we? 
the following examples will clarify you. Help the poor. Help the poor. In parallel sentence, so will you let me let yeah let separate. Uh, I have uh, told you let's. There should be apostrophe s together. Let apostrophe s. Let me do my work. Let Bob. So will you the same uh, imperative one? Ramesh and comma. Ramesh comma. Okay, there must be comma. Ramesh comma. Uh, to call someone, Ramesh, bring me the book. When we say someone, Ramesh, bring me the book or pass me the book. Yeah, bring me the book. Will you? Ramesh, bring me the book. Will you? Next, let's have a party. Let's, let's have a party. Let's, shall we? Yeah. Be clear. If the sentence has less, then we have to write shall we. Otherwise, in all cases, we have to write will you, will you, will you. If the sentence, next rule, if the sentence begins with there or one, or anyone as a subject, then the same word is used as pronoun in the tag. Okay, let's have a look at these examples. If the statement has there or one as a subject, then the same word, the same word means there or one is used as pronoun in the tag. One should speak the top. One should speak the top. One. So, should is auxiliary here. Should. Should. Not. One is uh, used as subject. So, one. One. Should. Should. Not. One. There are 20 students in the class. There are 20 students in the class. Ah. Uh, Aren't there the same word there? Aren't there? If the sentence has one or there used as the subject of the sentence, then we have to use the same word in our tag question as well. The verbs has, have, and had as main verb. This means if your statement, if the sentence has, has, have, and has, had used as main verb, then we have to make question tag in the following way. Let's be clear with the examples. If uh, has, has, does, has, has takes, does, has, has, her lunch. Does not see. So the next statement is affirmative. So doesn't and see. Ram had a very terrible dream last night. Had a very terrible dream last night. The sentence means Ram saw a very terrible dream, very frightening dream last night. Had. Had means something. Yeah, had. Uh, main verb had is B2. So, for B2, we use didn't. And for Ram, we use he pronoun. I have a car. I have a car. This sentence talks about something like possessing or possession. Something uh, that somebody has won or possess. So, in this case, if the statement talks about something that someone possess, then you can write have on also. Or the same has, have and had can be written as the form of tag question. But you need to know first whether the sentence talks about possession, owning something, somebody has something, 
or some kind of experience. If the sentence talks about experience or somebody has done something or about the work, then you have to use do, does, did accordingly for has, does, had, did and have, done, do. Okay. At the end of today's class, I have set some assignments for you. I hope the assignments will be very much helpful to better comprehend your today's question tag and hope that you will solve all these questions correctly. Okay, for today, this much. Stay inside home, stay safe, follow the rules of government for uh, preventing oneself and your family with COVID-19. In next video, we'll come with another new grammar item. We'll talk about that for today. This much. Thank you and bye-bye.